Hello, everyone. Hi. Please join us. Please join us. Please come before lunch. Anyone interested to listen to uh, the software we call NCP? We're going to talk about uh, sales service, sales managed portal, and billing software uh, for OpenStack beyond Horizon. Okay. I am Pipi Pon. I'm a system analyst and developer of Nipa.cloud. I'm Abhisak Julia. I'm a CEO of uh, Nipa Cloud. Okay. So let's start. Let's start. Uh, we, we're going to uh, talk about uh, a little bit about what is NCP. And at the end, uh, when Niti Pon will talk, we do some demo for us. Okay. What, how, how you can make use of it. It's very easy to use here. But b before that, uh, everyone who show up here, we will have a T-shirt for everyone here at the end of our session. So please join. Okay? Yes. Please join. If, if uh, anyone come here and sit on this thing until the end, we'll give away another T-shirt. Uh, it's, it's not this version that we give away. Okay? We have another version. Okay, can you, can you show us another version of uh, the, another T-shirt here? Okay, we, we're going to give away... Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello? Okay. Take it out. Okay. We made two versions of the T-shirts to give away. This is another one, okay? It's, it's no red. We gave away yesterday and today, and, and this is a new one. Thank you. Okay, if, if anyone uh, come and sit here uh, until the end, we'll give away free shirt for free here. Okay. Okay, let's start. Uh, let me introduce you a little bit about Nipah Cloud. Nipah Cloud is the uh, open cloud platform using OpenStack and uh, we provide this public cloud in Thailand uh, for a few years now. And uh, we also provide the private cloud as well. We provide cloud storage and AI solution. Uh, we use the uh, OpenStack and also uh, Docker container. Uh, we get the ISO uh, 27000. 001, and we also get the privilege from a BOI of Thailand. Oops. Okay, let's let's look at the uh, definition of our software. We call it NCP. It's uh, OpenStack self-service, self-managed portal and billing automated software, enable corporates and providers to operate public and private cloud service efficiently, okay? So here, here's the, um, you can see how it looks here. I'm gonna talk about what kind of uh, details we have here. The point is this, uh, we want to control the complexity of OpenStack. You know, how are we gonna do that? Uh, we want to make it a little bit easier to use Otherwise, OpenStack may not be as popular. So what we do here is that we know everyone uh, probably used Horizon before, right? Okay. But Horizon is hard to use, and user interface or user experience is not good. So what, what we try to do is we try to replace that. Uh, Horizon doesn't have customer registration. You know, you don't have any uh, email verification, OTP verification. We do that when we start writing uh, NCP. We want to make sure that we have this kind of feature in there. Also, we, we want to change the journey of the, uh, the user when they use OpenStack. We want to have a better journey. So we rewrite that because we want to have a new user journey. And when we design this, we look at the security is our number one thing to make sure that this software that we wrote here 
can uh, give you security, higher security. And uh, we want to control the complexity of this one. And the key is, if you want to add features with the horizon, it's very hard to, to do that. So we need to rewrite this software. So we start off with the NCP beta version 0.1. Okay, we start, from, we start off by using PHP uh, as, as our beginner. But actually, when, when you do that, okay, as you can see, when you have a single user request into NCP portal, which is the PHP uh, command, what happened is that it has to call OpenStack API multi-call. And that slow things down, okay? So we, we, we tried it out, and uh, it didn't work out. So we switched to Node.js as our second uh, attempt. And uh, actually, we put this one in production. We put this Node.js in production, but Node.js is good because it's asynchronous based. That means it can do parallel things, just, just like when you try to multi, do parallel call with the API. And, and basically, what we do here is also we do it in terms of using the microservice architecture, separate it out. And uh, also what we do here is that when we come to Node.js, we start writing our own library called, we call NC, OpenStack library, okay? This library can make it a lot easier to call the OpenStack API. This is our uh, version 1.0 and uh, it's in production, okay? Uh, and the library also make the, uh, the flexibilities to access to OpenStack version, uh, to another version, so you just change the conflict back end is a little bit, then you just change the OpenStack. Okay. And then uh, when, we, when we start uh, the production, right, a lot of people start using it, the, the uh, complicated complications start getting more. So what happened is, uh, uh, we also want to add more features, okay, to, to it. And I think uh, we, we look at Node.js, it, it cannot handle that. So we do rewrite it. Now we call it the version 2.0, and uh, we use TypeScript, okay? This is our third version, and, and now we're still using TypeScript. Uh, TypeScript is uh, more like a, um, Node.js, but with structure, okay? That, that's what, that's what is, is good about TypeScript. And also, we add the uh, message queue. When you add message queue, uh, it makes life a lot easier, okay? The way, the, the way you can control it. And, and beyond that, we, do, we add more about the uh, library by uh, doing the unit test of the library that we write, okay? Uh, every time we create the library, we do the unit test. What we use is all-in-one, okay? OpenStack all-in-one. Test it first before we uh, put it in the library and then call this one. So we have improved a lot of things in here. Uh, add to admin token caching as well, okay? You want to add anything here? Want to add something? No? Okay. All right. Okay, that's what we talk about is front end. Okay. Uh, that's for the customer portal. Now, when we come to the back end here, uh, we look at it as well. <clears throat> we want to bring more hidden features from OpenStack API. You know, actually, the OpenStack API is, is very good. And uh, in order to be able to pull more features out of it, you have to do a lot of writing on that one. And, and we, we did that. Uh, we want to make the operation, a daily use uh, operation is more efficient. So we can bring more feature out. For example, like, uh, you know, we, we have the SLA monitoring. That means that if, if any machine down, okay, it will notify you, it will give you who is impact for this node down, okay? So this is the thing that we uh, provide in, in for the back-end portal. We do have audit log as well. That means 
if something goes wrong, we can go back and look at it. We can trace back everything. Yeah, we can trace back everything on this one. So we rewrite this one as well. We create this backend portal to make it uh, easier for operation. So our next step is we want to be able to provide a private container registry uh, to do multi-regions, uh, object storage, uh, DNS as a service, and then load balance as well. As well. And uh, we want to be able to integrate Kubernetes and OpenStack uh, together because, as you know, container uh, is really uh, becoming more popular. And I think, you know, to be able to do that, we have to contact uh, integrate between Kubernetes and, and OpenStack here. Yeah. So let, let me summarize for you a little bit about NCP. So we, we design NCP architecture to support every version of OpenStack. Okay? That, that's our goal. We want to design that. And then whichever OpenStack uh, version come out, it will be applicable to it. The whole thing, when we wrote this software, we uh, use this ISO, uh, IEC 2009-110, to control the whole process, okay? We have this certified uh, as well to make sure that our software written is, uh, you know, in, in, within uh, the control, the standard of the ISO. Here. And have qualities. Quality, to yes. Control the okay. quality as well. Okay. Okay, to summarize, as you can see that we, we have, we call our uh, software as NCP, and it's been navigate. So we, we should be able to navigate the instant, the network, the volume storage, the image, and the key pairs. Okay, what we have done extra more than Horizon here is this. Uh, key pair, usually for Horizon, you can do only ISA, but in, in our NCP here, you can do more of DSA and ECDCSA and ED25519. And it also support multiple key pairs. Okay. And uh, we do have a rescue mode. Okay. He, uh, Which I will show you. We're going to later. show you at the end what is rescue mode. It's really cool. Okay. And uh, we provide private network as well. So all this is in uh, NCP, but uh, N is to navigate here. We do have what we call we add marketplace which is the one-click app. That means we create this beautiful design, uh, the whole thing with the UX, UI, uh, and this is the one-click app that we provide. Once you launch, launch your VM, if you click Docker, it will give you the image. Docker install right away for you. All this thing is in there in NCP for you. Uh, we do have a good feature, like I mentioned before, rescue mode to boot OS from troubleshooting via our dashboard, and also we do have auto backup feature that can be auto re uh, scheduling. Okay, so that make it uh, life easier. For to, for C control, okay, we we do have flavor. Okay, when you build when you create lot instant, you have flavor. We provide that kind of flavor. You can select any kind of flavor you you want. Uh, it's a multi-tenant. You can set the price as well. It, you can do multiple project resource quota member. Okay, security ingress, egress is provided there. Uh, capacity planning here is very important. If you want to provide a public cloud or any private cloud, you must know when you need to add your resource, right? Okay, also for the resource pooling, that means, let's say if you use for some certain time, how much resource you have left and how you're going to distribute it among your resource that you have. Quota limit. Housekeeping, okay. Housekeeping is also important, right? You want to know what's happening within your system right here. Monitor and locking and alert. All we have it here. And the key one for the NCP, I think, is very important. It's a payment. It's a billing system here. And, and this billing is fully automated to provide you with easy to manage prepaid, postpaid, and payment gateway module. Okay? So it's, it's pay as you go, and uh, you can see all the billing, the billing history like this one here. Okay? 
you can you can look at the cost estimate. If if you are a user, our system give you the cost estimate that if this this much money you have, how much you have have left and and how much you have to pay each month if you use at least t certain level all the time. So how long your credit will be last, and give you the cost comparison between previous month and then track usage on daily basis, and the the cost calculate that we provide to you, uh, the minimum uh, unit is per hour, okay? And here's a billing detail of what we, sh we have here. Okay, uh, so good Pinipon, we'll show you a demo here, okay? Let's switch to demo. Okay, before we begin, if, some, if anyone here want to join us with the demo, just scan the QR code and play along. I'll be your touring guide right here. It's kind of, uh, I'll, I'll show you how we use the NCP, the user portal, and the admin portal as well. First, this is the NCP, it's the main page. And now, user, uh, as you can see, the user can manage their own instant, image, auto backup, key pair, volume, even network by themselves. And they can do everything. And this one is our features that I want to show. It's an auto backup, uh, which uh, we don't have the data in this demo yet, but our backup can be set by the, by the user. They can set the time of the backup by themselves. So to make sure that the instant won't be paused when they need it. So then they can choose the time, the uh, quantity of the backup, and the frequency of the backup by themselves. And next is the key pair. As the doctor, uh, as Dr. Abhisak said, we got more than one key pair in the instant. For the use case that you work as a team to control the instant, uh, more than one people work, for sure. Then you don't have to copy your uh, key pair to another PC. You just uh, gen your own key pair and keep it in here. This is a launch instant page. I'll show you. You can select your image here, the marketplace, also here, and the flavor, which we call it machine type, and uh, cow firewall, which is uh, a security group, as you know. And key pair, as I said, and also use the password. Then we go to the rescue mode. As I said, rescue mode is the function that you can retrieve your data in a broken instant to, to do some troubleshooting, uh, which is uh, do by uh, you mounting uh, Ubuntu OS to your instant uh, this to retrieve your data back so it won't go too wasted. So you can be uh, sure that your data won't go to waste in our NCP system. And next is the billing. As you can see, this one doesn't have data because it's a uh, demo, sorry. Uh, you can see the uh, cost forecast for month. It will summarize at how much you have used for this month, and at the end of the month, will it, what bill is cost. And you can see the uh, billing uh, detail for each service, the billing history here, all the data that you need to control your cost and your budget, of course. Then, here is our start portal. Uh, in the start portal, uh, admin can control almost everything, every service in our cloud, such as project, instant, routing IP, almost everything. I will show you this. Uh, this is a project, so admin can do, what admin can do is control the quota of each project. And of course, it's got a default coder. And the features, uh, someone was 
at our booth and see that each project got the different quota and different features because we can control each project separated. So you can uh, uh, make a super user have a function that the normal user doesn't have. Uh, the admin can do the refund, can block, can manage uh, members as well. And if you want to know which, oh, sorry. If you want to know what this project have, resor uh, have what resource in this, you can just click in the detail right here. As a simple as instant, I'll go to instance right here. And it will show you how many in the standard this project have, and you can manage it as well by click on the detail. Wait a bit. Okay, and so you can monitor it, console, port, stop, lock, rescue. Here. Okay, that's this all I have. If you want to know more about our NCP, please, we welcome you. Our booth is just about there, just right at the corner there, and we have T-shirt for you. So get back uh, to oh, Dr. Pisa. Okay, one one more thing here. Um, can you switch back there? Okay, uh, we we can have another session. We're gonna talk about the whole uh, picture of public cloud, how we start building from scratch uh, up until uh, the operation and then this NCP as well. Uh, the whole shebang here in one, in 40 minutes uh, tomorrow at uh, room uh, uh, floor, uh, fourth floor, no, I think fifth floor, I don't know what happened here, but room 617. The title is Build and Scale from Zero to Success, the first Thailand OpenStack public cloud. So if, you, if anyone interested, please join us here. Okay, any question? Any question? Here? We uh, can answer you then. Okay, okay, uh, please give away while you, if you have any question, let us know, but please give away shirts. Okay. You want to see this? Any question? Okay, I'll, I'll stab will go to you guys and then give away shirts. What? Yeah. What problems you are faced with RabbitMQ? Okay, problem we face with RabbitMQ. Um, okay, you go ahead. You. Uh, I have to summon our engineer. Okay, I have the problem in the uh, fully source controller. Is RabbitMQ stop working? Yeah, I I have I, I add the resource. Should add memory, yeah, and I <coughs> start up, restart, restart Rabbit MQ to the working, yeah. I fix use how to. Okay, uh, yeah. add, add to him is that you know, actually we we using Rabbit MQ in it, it all of a sudden it stopped using right. What happened is that we found out the controller yeah. resource yeah. is gone, uh, RAM. So we, we have to shut down controller. And, yeah. Okay, we, we have three controllers. So yeah. we shut down one by one, one, one by and one. then add lamp to it. And then uh, once we increase that resource, it, it working back. Okay. It's not downtime. Uh, no, no downtime. Okay. So this was with Okata version. Say that again? Uh, this you did with Okata version. Yeah. Uh, not yeah. twins. No, this is, this is Okata, right? Okay. Version Okada. We we start with Okada and then we update to the latest Okada. We have not upgraded to the, the top one yet. You're welcome. Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay. I think okay. we uh, did our time. Thank you very much. Thank all Thank for you coming. Thank you everyone.